right now today, it's not a nice place, but I'm very prepared for it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm prepared for it. I'm prepared for all the failure coming my way. I'm prepared for everything my way. And that's the biggest lesson that she taught me by not teaching me, mm. by never saying it's going to be okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, she told me the exact opposite. Life sucks. That's what she knew. And it was the truth. That was her reality. That was her reality. Yeah. And so I saw that. And so I started at that point in my life. I have a lot more failures, as you see in that book. But I started down the road of, instead of the path of, you know, least resistance, I started choosing the path of most resistance to prepare myself for the journey that was coming my way. Wow. And most kids don't prepare themselves for the most resistance. No. They want to get out of things. They want to get out of things. Get off the hook. Right. Put in the extra reps. Right. They want the easiest path to get to the top, right? Right, exactly. Huh. You have to cap it. You have to learn to cap success. So what I do is, like right now, I don't like doing podcasts. There's a lot of things I don't do have to do now to get the messages out there to help people out. And what I mean by capping success I believe everybody should live their life. So everything that someone says in life, take it with a grain of salt. Take what they give and don't be like, oh, David Goggins said this or whoever said this. No, do not take what I say and do exactly what I say. So for me, what makes me who I am, because my mission is very different than yours or anybody else's. I have to go into a situation where, okay, I'm a guy who wants to make people better. For people to get better, I have to continuously get better myself. For me to do that, I can't just say, oh, I have this resume, the resume is there forever, I'm good. I have to cap my success because for me to help people out, I can't just say I did it once and I'm good. I have to continue to reinvent the wheel of the mind and figure out more and more ways for you to pull. Because if I have a cookie cutter message, it may hit five people out of 25. You just failed. My message needs to be in a way where I can hit all 25 people. It needs to be broad enough to where all 25 people may not like the message, but they're getting something from it. And that is evolution. You must continue to evolve. And you don't evolve for me in my job unless I cap myself somewhere and say, okay, you made this much money, get back to fucking work. It's time to get back to work. Stop hearing yourself talk, get off the podcast, don't be on social media too much, cut out all the fucking noise, get back to the fucking mental lab. Because that's where the knowledge came from.